Yeah, I'm staying here in Uba Panjang <coughs> almost 12 to 15 years already. The DBKL has promised us to pre relocate for us the house. But I don't know when because we don't have any black and white, only verbally we are stalking around. No light stick in the road, the road light is so low. The situation of the house is very bad. So can can get fire very easily because of uh, the room of is built only by plywood, termites, so all those things. When it's heavy rains, because of flood, because no drains are clean, because you know those days in, uh, they will say Jinjang means uh, they know it's a dustbin, the dump, dumper there. Thank God we are in the middle in the city, we can't get 45 ringgit rental, yes it's true, but you must see the condition and the environment of the people who are staying around us. Emergency, we call an ambulance, uh, that is, take 45 minutes to one and a half hour to reach to the particular place. Because they don't know, once you say Rumah Panjang, they say, which kawasan, which lorong, house number, you know, there's no signboard. So these are the problems we face. Even a criminal case, we call, call to Balai police officer, the police officer cannot arrive on time because of this problem. They break the signboard. Only convenience is school and hospital. There's Jinjang Hospital nearby, about five kilometer. You know the government bodies come down and give them, uh, you know, some sorts of talks, motivate them. They can come down, but nobody come down here. When you invite us, so they will say, "Aya, rumah panjang ah, scared." Job open opportunity means it's very bad here. We have to go all the way to KL to find. So no companies around here because here you see all doing their own business. I think the youngsters are they very difficult to say because of the you know a lot of illegal activities are taking place here. Drugs, famous here is now fighting of you know, each other, staying same place, fighting. I don't know for what they are selling. Like alcohol, in uh, even to the underage, they sell cigarette to the underage. To me, like Indian community, uh, because of they don't have a proper person to you know advise them. Even the elderly people also, I think they don't know how to coach them. Now the youngsters are very difficult to say that.